Hey guys and welcome to this podcast episode. Today we will talk about how you can truly find yourself. So this topic is inspired by my own story. So I will share a lot of life learnings that I've made in the last few days. And um, yeah, this episode is especially for all the girls and also all the guys here, but I know especially girls are listening to my podcast that are going through a phase right now where they no longer feel aligned with the person that they are right now. And they also have the feeling that it feels so hard to become the person that they truly want to become or they even don't know yet who they truly want to become. Because I have been or I am kind of still even in this situation right now and I want to talk about my own experiences and all the learnings that I have made. So first of all, before I go ahead with all the step-by-step -step things that you need to do, I would love to uh, give you guys a quick like overview of my life because I know a lot of people are listening to this podcast that don't know me and also don't know my story. And like I said, a lot of the things that I will teach you here are align on everything that happened to me. So um, I'm 26 years old and I'm a retired entrepreneur. So I have um, I had a business for four years. I made multiple seven figures online. I made some really, really good money. Like I was living the lavish lifestyle. And I realized at some point that this is not for me. Like I decided to quit my business or to close, in other words, my business and to really do what I really feel like doing right now. So and this was not an easy decision because I gave everything up that I worked so hard for and I also gave everything up that I was so proud about like it was kind of even like an ego thing you know guys what I mean so uh, a lot of people knew you for that one thing a lot of people just wanted to be around you just because that one thing because you made it because you have built this crazy things out there on Instagram so and I decided to give that up I decided okay I no, no longer care I don't care who will um, no longer be interested in me when I stop doing that. I don't care um, about the money anymore. And this is actually like a crazy, crazy thing because a few years ago or even a few months ago, I had a completely different perspective on life and on success. I was the kind of person that really believed money can buy happiness. I was the kind of person that um, wanted to have that crazy and ambitious, I would say adventurous lifestyle. I was the kind of person that was super crazy and extrovert. I would say I'm still kind of crazy and extrovert. That's something that no one can change. But I was a completely different person. And as you can see, it kind of goes aligned with the topic that we're about to talk. So I was this person that was super ambitious. I love to hustle. Like my business was my life. Like everything that like if a person if you would ask a person right now okay who is maribel they will directly mention the word business like when i think about maribel i think about business i think about money i think about this fancy lifestyle etc but at some point i felt like that's actually not who i want to be that's really not who i want to be like everything that i was doing was no longer aligned with my true values And this is something that we're also going to talk about today because it has a huge meaning when it comes to finding yourself. So as you guys know, like I explained to you guys, like I was um, living this crazy lifestyle and at some point I realized, hey, um, it's kind of also kind of rubbing my peace and it's no longer aligned with myself. Let's change something. So from one day to another day, I decided to close my coaching business. So I was mentoring girls all around the world how to build a business online, especially with Instagram theme pages, um, which I'm living from now. Like a lot of people are always asking me, hey, how are you financing you the same lifestyle that you were living before? I'm actually running my theme pages. And um, it would be super embarrassing if I would not be able to uh, make money or to have that passive income stream from all the things that I were teaching other girls. So, you know, <laughs> 
but a lot of people still like oh my god how is that possible that you're able to make money from these pages girl i was teaching that like of course i know how to make money from that so and yeah this is how my life looks like right now like i have a lot of time for myself of course i have some old student i am still supporting because they are still like in a program but um i'm right now free so and i would say my main mission right now in my life is to find myself as funny and as weird the sound and i never expected that i would be that kind of person that would go on this journey of like finding herself you know like eat pray love style like i'm going to bali and all that stuff but actually it came to that point like i'm right now in a point in my life where i really don't know 100 who am i for real like who is maribel francesca and who do i really want to become so and what i did in the last few days uh, i would say like in the last 10 days especially i researched like i researched i learned i spoke to so many different people that could help me to really come forward in finding myself and when you think about finding yourself i think the first thing that you are probably thinking about okay i need to book now a flight to bali or wherever in the world where i'm isolated and just be by myself but actually it's not like that and it's so funny because i always thought okay i'm going to book that flight to bali in may i'm going on a retreat whatever five days completely isolated but it's actually not so what I found out, I listened to a lot of podcasts, I read a lot of books and in this podcast episode that I'm recording today, I will put all my little learnings together so that you can use it for yourself because it helped me already so, so much on my um, journey to find myself. So and one big learning that I made is if you want to find yourself, you need to be around people. And like I said, I always thought I need to isolate myself. I need to be by myself to really listen to my inner voice. And as you guys also know that are listening to my podcast pretty often, they know that I actually love to isolate myself. I love to um, listen to my inner voice and to be by myself. And I don't say that it's wrong. But when you want to find yourself, it can be very helpful when you're around other people. And here is what happens. Did you never wondered when you're with other people that they give you different ideas and that you always have the kind of feeling, oh, I agree with their values or I don't agree with their values or this is something that I will do, this is something that I wouldn't do. Like literally finding yourself is actually or getting to know yourself is actually like the sentence sentence is saying it, knowing what you truly are and what you truly want this is what you really like what you really are going to do when it's about finding yourself a lot of people don't know that a lot of people don't know what they really want who they really are what they're really interested in what they don't like what they're scared about what they are um, excited about like a lot of people don't know that and this is all about this topic of okay finding yourself like to know all the answers to these questions and when you are with other people to give you a better example for example in my case I spent a lot of time with other friends in the last 10 days and I never never ever spent so much time with my friends before because I'm a person I like I said I don't like it to be 24 7 around people like I go out maybe like two or three times per week with my people and that's it. But on these last 10 days, every single day I was around with another person, like with a friend, um, with someone that know, like with a person that knows me, um, that knows me really um, as a person, not when it comes to business, etc. And when I was spending time with these people, I always realized when they were telling me their stories, when they were talking with me about certain topics, I listened by doing that also to myself. And I realized, oh, okay, this friend right now told me about this and this kind of party that she went to. 
And directly in my head, I was thinking about, oh, I would never do that. I don't like places like that. Are you realizing it? You're actually like, you're actually getting to know yourself. You know what I mean? And this is with everything. Maybe you have also realized it when you're around your friends. In, inside of your mind, you're already making yourself an opinion about something, sometimes even without speaking it out loud. Because I know sometimes we shouldn't speak out things loud because it could hurt another person, etc. But by listening to others, by talking to others, you're getting to know yourself. You're getting to know yourself, okay, this is for me or this is not for me. So, and all these people gave me a completely different perspective on myself because the super interesting thing was that all these people were having completely different lives. Yes, all of them were entrepreneurs, but they were so different in their personality and in their values that it helped me a lot to get to know myself and to have all the little answers that I needed to have about myself. So, and this is something that I also listened into a podcast. Like they said, you need to go out and spend time with people. The more time you spend with people, the more you get to know yourself. And also one thing that I'm also um, always aware of is that I'm very like, I love to analyze people. Like when I'm with people around, I always ask myself, okay, why um, is this person doing that right now? why this person thinks like that why this person is saying certain things so and by doing that i'm also analyzing myself in some kind of way i'm asking myself okay am i also doing something like that am i also overthinking about that topic why am i doing that you know maybe this is this one is like a little bit too deep for some people here but by analyzing yourself you're getting to know yourself better. It's simple. It's the same thing with other people. Of course, you can get to know a person by listening to what this person says. You can get to know a person by experiencing her, by experiencing her energy, by um, experiencing her action, what she does for you, what she does with you. And you can also experience a person by analyzing this person by yourself. And I think this is the same way how you should handle it when it when it comes to get to know yourself. Listen to yourself. Experience yourself. What does feels right, what does feels wrong. Also try to, I would say, analyze yourself. Like be very reflective. I'm a super reflective person. And when I can give you like one one thing that helped me to become the person that I am today and to build the, the business that I have built in the past, it was by being super reflective with myself. Even building a business is all about person development. It's not about having the right strategies in place. Like literally everything that I have done was so simple, was so, so simple. But the reason why I was able to be at that point where I was was because I had the mindset, like I was so, so strong, like I kept going even if my life was literally falling apart. And this is literally mindset. This is something here. Also, when you take a look at all the people that are running a business, you will not see a person running a super successful business with a loser mindset. They're having a winner mindset. They're super positive. They're strong. Like they go for stuff. When they say they're going to do something, they're going to do something. So and this is what I wanted to share with you regarding the topic of being around people. And now comes the game changer. Also something that I learned from a podcast. Big shout out to Leo Skeppy here. And I also read so many books about that topic. And it literally like it blowed my mind. Like I was like, what? It's this easy to find yourself. It's all about your values. We all have different values. And of course, in some way, we are all conditioned. So the way how you uh, think about, cer about certain things, your beliefs are all conditioned. Are all conditioned by our environment. That means our family, our friends, business partners, social media, people that we look up to, influencers, etc., uh, the way how you grew up, like everything that we believe in is kind of conditioned. 
But of course, when you really, really listen to yourself, you have your inner voice, like you have your own values. So, and when you're not living aligned with your values, then you will feel super, in my case, I felt super lost. Like I always had the feeling of feeling super lost, feeling super empty, etc. So to give you one example, I did a separate podcast episode about that, like why you feel lost and empty. And I will just do like a little quick, like, um, I would say like a side note to that. But if you want to go more into that topic, you should watch this podcast episode. I will also link it into this video. So, for example, in my case, a year ago, I felt super lost and empty. Like, I did not know what was going on. I wasn't enjoying any more partying. I wasn't enjoying any more going on dates. I wasn't enjoying any more going for these crazy travels, etc. And I figured out that all these things were no longer aligned with my true values. Like, that's why these things were not fulfilling me anymore. Because... I actually don't like to be in a club that is super crowded and to literally scream for attention and validation inside of a club. I don't like to spend my time on pointless dates where I know that this person's anyways not for me. I also don't like to uh, be 24-7 like I would say on the go and traveling from one country to one country to one qu country. Like this is exhausting for me. This is not aligned with my values. And I would love to uh, give you guys a little overview into my values too. Like I think this podcast episode will be like super, super transparent because I never talk about that. I never talked about that in public. Also, a lot of my friends don't know really about my values. And I will also explain you guys why I have these values and how you can set these values also for yourself, like how you can listen to your inner voice. And it took me a long time to figure out these values, to be honest. Like it wasn't something that I did from today to tomorrow. It took me a few days when that I realized, okay, this is what I stand for and this is what I don't stand for. Like th these are the things that are my true values. So, and the reason why you are feeling like lost and empty when you are not living aligned with your true values is because you're not able to live out your true self. And we all know when we're not able to live our true self and when we are getting put, let's say, into like a little box that is not made for us, like we are feeling so uncomfortable. Maybe you have even experienced it once by yourself. Let's say you have that one friend and I think we all have that one friend. When you're spending time with that friend, you just feel uncomfortable. You have the feeling you can really be yourself. And then you have your bestie. And with your bestie, you can be truly yourself. Like you, you really, you really can can show your completely personality. Like you can really be yourself. You feel more comfortable. You you directly you will be more happy. It's the same thing with relationship. Like at the end of the day, we fall in love with the people that are giving us the opportunity to live out the person that we really want to be, and that we really like feel like being. You know what I mean? It's not the person where we are always need to put a mask on and when we, where we always need to pretend we're someone else. This is also especially the reason, like a little side note to relationship because it fits so good. Oh my God. This is also the reason why so many guys that you're probably meeting are from one day to another day no longer interested in you because they needed to play a role to uh, literally please you to be the kind of person that fits into your life and of course a person gets tired of it like I was dating a guy and he was like in my in my opinion he was an amazing guy so and we were having an amazing connection and at some point from one of the other point he was kind of being like I would say like kind of bit like cold like he was not no longer putting so much effort into it in short like he was no longer putting so much effort into it and I was like okay why that like what did I wrong and then I was checking like the girls that he were dating with he would always telling me about his his past relationship and everything and I always in my head I always had the thought oh my god like why 
did he went on date with girls like that like they don't fit to him like they were like sorry to say that but they were like qu quite trashy girls and now being with a girl like me like of course it's an upgrade but then i realized that this man was putting himself every single fucking days into super uncomfortable shoes that were not fitting to him and that he got tired of it And this, ladies and gentlemen, I know it's a very, very, very different example, but this is what happens when you're not aligned with your values and with your true self. You're putting yourself every single fucking day into a position where you can't be yourself and you will get tired of it. And when you get tired of it, this is when you feel lost and empty. And this is when you are no longer, I would say, happy really in life. Because you're not doing something that makes you happy. You're not doing something that fulfills you and that fits to you. So, and this is what I wanted to uh, tell you about that. So I would love to go through my values and give you guys also like an overview of my values and what you guys um, yeah, can learn from it. And maybe there's the one or the other thing that you guys can also identify yourself with. So of course you should have your own values. So I don't want to say don't copy it. I'm pretty sure that a lot of my values also align with your values. If not, you would not listen to that podcast. But really, here inside of your heart, like what are like your really true values? So, and one thing about me is that I, my, I would say like one of my key values is reliability. I'm a very reliable person. I also expect that other people are reliable to me. So when I'm planning something with you and I'm telling you, hey, I'm going to be at this and this, at this and this place, at this and this time, I'm expecting you to be there. And if you're a person that is not aligned with this value, I will have problems with spending time with you. So to give you guys an example, like I had a friend and she, for example, she wasn't aligned with this value. And I told her directly like, hey, look, this is one of my key values. This is super important for me that when I spend or when I plan something with you that I that that you're reliable, that I can really expect, Okay, we're going to do it and you're going to be at this and this time there. So because I believe that my time is valuable and your time is probably also valuable. And I told her like, hey, we need to change it. And if not, like I'm out. Like, I'm literally out. And this is, ladies and gentlemen, the importance of setting boundaries. Imagine you are, like, friends with someone that is totally against your values. And, like I said, you're putting yourself every single day into this super uncomfortable shoe that it's not fitting to you. Like, you will be super unhappy. Like, every single time you're spending time with this person and she does this one thing that is not aligned with your values, like... It will be directly like an, uh, an worse start into the friendship, in my opinion. Of course, it can be happen. It, it can happen one time or two times, but when this person is every single time completely against your values, then you need to set yourself boundaries and cut this person off. So another key value of mine is like I would say fitness and like being healthy. Like as you guys know, like I love going out i love going out to the gym i love um, eating healthy etc and every single time i do this like this one thing that is against my value for example i'm eating like junk food i'm skipping the gym how i'm feeling i'm feeling like shit it's something that is against my values of course i'm feeling like shit because i'm also not eating healthy and i'm also not moving myself but i'm also feeling like shit because It's the feeling of guilt. Okay, hey, I'm actually working against my values right now. I'm working against everything that I stand for. So, and of course, like, I don't want you guys to put like a super like crazy pressure on your chest or to literally work out every single day for hours and hours. But you should take care of this part because it's a part of your values like everyone knows like I'm healthy I'm going to the gym so and for me it's also super important that everyone around me is healthy and also kind of what means going out to the gym but that this person is also aligned with my values because what end up happening is when I'm around people that are for example 
not taking care of themselves, they're not going to the gym, etc. They're eating junk food, junk food, junk food. It's influencing me in a bad way. And I talked about this topic so many times in other podcast episodes, how important your environment is when you are, I would say, like on a journey of becoming you and yourself, I would say, and on a journey of like reaching specific goals. If you have people around you that are eating 24-7 junk food and you want to lose weight, you want to do fitness, you want to be healthy, of course it will influence you and you will not see a reason why you should eat healthy today when everyone around you is saying, ah, ah let's go one day, like we can go to McDonald's. Like let, let's not be so hard on ourselves. You know what I mean? Compared to having people that are accountable, that are holding yourself also accountable. Like, and this is one of my key values. The next one is personal peace. Like for me, personal peace is, I would say, one of the most important thing. It's super important that everything and everyone around me is giving me personal peace. And this is also one of the reasons why I gave up on my business. Yes, I was making crazy money. Yes, I was also inspiring a lot of people and helping a lot of people. But the I would say the result of it of running this specific business it was not giving me, me the peace that I wanted like I was constantly overthinking I had 14 employees that I need to take care of I had people that were counting on me clients that were counting on me and I couldn't give myself a day off in some kind of way I would say like I always had this kind of this kind of pressure on me like it was not giving me personal peace and what I did it was not aligned with my values so I skipped it and this one hit me hard like I guys told you in the beginning of this podcast it wasn't easy for me to give that up and this something is is something that is also about friends like if I have friends inside of my circle that are not giving me personal peace I'm not spending time with them so and I had a lot of these friends to be honest like I had a lot of friends that yeah I had good times with them I were having a lot of times with them but they were not giving me personal peace they were making me nervous they were literally letting me overthink they were letting me focusing on my problems and on negative things that were actually not so big in my life so and this is something that is super super important so that you check every single area of your life regarding your values like really think about it is this one thing aligned with your values for example I was um, thinking a few months ago it was when I was traveling from the Dominican Republic to Dubai I was thinking about to do a stop in Miami so and at this time personal peace was so important for me like it was so important like I was protecting my peace at all costs like I had people like asking me if they can fly me out somewhere for nice parties etc adventures and I knew that right now I needed to have personal peace as much as I can and that this was not something that would help me and at this time I was also thinking to do like a stop in Miami so and I knew from all my friends and everyone that knows me so well they were telling me like Mary Bell if you want personal peace don't go right now to Miami like we know you you will go partying you will go crazy etc it will not give you personal peace and this is for example a decision that I did to stay inside of my values because I knew okay hey the only way how I'm going to be really happy and really live out my true self is when I'm aligned with this one one value and this one value is personal peace so another thing that is also one of my values and this one I would say is also one of my key values is discipline so I'm a very disciplined person I want that everyone around me is also disciplined in some kind of way. Of course, like I said, I can't control people, but I want to have an environment around myself that are having kind of the same values. And I can say that most of my friends, literally like everyone is super disciplined. Everyone is working on something. Everyone is kind of on their own growth journey if it's not business, then it's their personal development journey. Like all of these people 
are being super disciplined. I'm very disciplined when it comes to my work. Like this is one of my key values. As soon as I'm not disciplined and I'm skipping things, I'm being lazy, etc. Like I'm feeling like shit. I'm very disciplined also when it comes to my sexuality. Like this is something that I also needed to learn, to be honest, like to be really disciplined and to not go on dates with everyone. For example, I'm not doing hookups or something like I'm really being disciplined. And I had a time in my life where I was not doing hookups or something, but I was like being more, I would say, open to dates. Like I was literally going on dates with a lot of people And of course, I just got in time with one or the other person. So, and one thing that I realized is that every single time I felt like shit, every single time I felt like shit, like someone literally sucked my soul. And the reason for that is because it wasn't aligned with my true values. And one of my true values is being disciplined, being disciplined and really doing what's good for me at the end of the day something with which can, I can grow and not something where I have like a quick and I would say short pleasure. So, and like I said, this is one of my key values, being disciplined, having disciplined people around me. And another one is, for example, self-care. So for me, it's super important that I always look clean, that I take care of myself. I take care of my hair. I take care of my skin things like that because this is one of my key values another one is uh, the belief so as you guys know I believe in God and Jesus for me it's definitely important that I'm that I give myself the space to really take time for these things so I don't know if you guys maybe know it uh, when you have like friends or people around you where you can't really talk about these topics because I know it's sometimes like a very like difficult topic. You can't talk about spirituality with everyone and a lot of people have different opinions, etc. But this is for me one of my key values. For example, I had friends around me that were not aligned with this key value. Like I couldn't really talk about my religion. I couldn't really talk about my belief. So, and this is so, so important. I felt so kind of, I felt so uncomfortable around these people, to be honest. So, and this is, for example, also the reason why I let so many people go that are not aligned with, um, I would say, with one of m one of my values like that. Of course, I don't care if you have another belief system or something. So this is a completely different thing. But for me, it's important that I'm able to... Uh, really like talk completely freely about topics like that if you guys understand me then the next one is definitely like uh, fairness I'm definitely a person that um, wants to be fair with myself I want to be fair with others I want to be around people that are fair um, I'm an open-minded person I'm very open-minded I'm uh, very curious so for example I had a time in my life where I completely forgot about this one value about myself. Like I was so, I would say, ignorant when it came to new learnings, when it came, when it came to people. So, and I think this is one of the most important things that makes me. So I'm a very curious person. Like uh, you guys know from my podcast episode, I always say that I love to learn about people. I love to learn about people, why they think, um, in a certain way why they act in a certain way i love to uh, um, know about certain topics for example i had a time in my life where i wasn't touching a single book for a year i was running my business yes and i was doing all these amazing things but i wasn't touching a book for a year so i wasn't really feeding my brain with some new learnings and i felt like shit to be honest because this is one of the things that are important for me these are these are one of the things that are making me so and what i started doing is that i committed myself to read books and i know it's sometimes difficult and i know sometimes you don't have the time but if you really want to time is a thing of a priority 
like I blocked myself like hours into my calendar where I wanted to read my books and I committed my books and I committed myself okay I'm not going out of this chair till I read 50 pages so and this is something that also changed my whole well-being because I finally were able to be curious again to learn new things again another one of my values is to be emotional like I'm a very emotional person and this is not a fucking excuse like so many people are using it yeah I'm sorry I'm being emotional no 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 because we all know these people that are always using this as an excuse of losing control of themselves by that I mean like I love to show emotion emotions in general like I love to I love to show joy. I love to also show sadness. I also love to show like all the different emotions that we have in our life. So, and every single time I find myself in a situation where I'm not able to live out this one key value of mine to be emotional, I'm feeling uncomfortable. And maybe you guys know it, especially when it comes to relationship, like often we find ourselves in situations where we don't want to be um where we don't want to be emotional because we are scared to kind of push the other person away in some kind of way if you understand me so because maybe this person thinks oh my god we're directly in love with that person or something else like sometimes we don't want to show emotions because of that and what i realized is that people where I can't show my emotions, either friends, partners, whatever, they are not for me. Like, they're truly not for me. For me, it's so important to show emotions. I don't use emotions as an excuse, but I love to show emotions, and I love to get emotions back. For example, I had people inside of my life, friends and families, that were completely without any emotions, and I felt so uncomfortable around them. And I couldn't really like, like live out my true personality because I was scared, oh, okay, they're not showing emotion. And when I show, show emotions, they kind of don't like it or they react weird to it. I better don't do it. You know what I mean? So these people directly cut them off. So um, then another thing is that I have the, the key value class inside. Like for me, it's super important to have class, to yeah, to be classy, I would say, and to have people around me with a certain type of class. I talked about that in one of the interviews a few days ago. This is something that my mom teached me when I was like a little child. She said, the people are treating you the way how you look and how you behave. And I know this one might hit some people hard right now, but it is what it is. Like people will judge you and treat you by your looks and your behavior. So in every single time I remember when we were going, let's say, to the doctor when I was a little child, she were grabbing like my most beautiful dress, like my best dress, the best I had in my closet. And I was always wondering why. And she said, like, hey, like I told you, like people are treating you by the way how you behave and by the way how you look. So and I experienced it so many times in my life, like and maybe you too, like every single time when you look classy, like when you I would say when you carry yourself in a certain way, people will completely treat you differently people will completely respect you differently so and this is one of my key values like i want to be respected by everyone i want to be classy like i want to show up as my best self when i'm with all the kind of people like it doesn't matter if it's a business meeting it doesn't matter if i'm going like to mcdonald's like i want to show people like my respect with that like i want to show people that I appreciate them I appreciate their time like you will never see me going with you for dinner in a jogger so I remember how I went once with a with friends to a dinner and this was something to be honest it might be like a bit too much for some people right now here but I went with this friend for a really really nice dinner like we planned to do like a night out and she showed up in a jogger like but not like this one stylish jogger, like she literally showed up in a jogger, like we went to that nice restaurant, she showed up in a jogger, 
And to be honest, I was kind of like, I don't want to say disappointed. At the end of the day, everyone can do whatever they want. But, you know, like, for example, I took my time. Like, I got dressed up. I put some makeup on. Like, I really, like, I invested into this meeting with her because I appreciate her. I also appreciate her time. And for me, it felt like, okay, hey, the meeting that we were having was not so worth it so that she needed to, like, dress up. And I don't mean by dressing up you need to come in heels and your best outfit, whatever. But she were literally, like, coming like she were, like, sitting at home. You know what I mean? For a night out, like a proper dining night out. So, and this is something that... A lot of people are, for example, feeling like I'm not the only one, especially even when it comes to date. I'm so sorry that I'm always taking the example of dates, but it's so good. If you will now go to a date with a guy and he will show up in complete jogger for a night out, you would also be like, okay, kind of, he's not so invested into that. Like, he's not really appreciating my time and my presence. It would be the same thing if we as girls, we would show up in jogger for a date. I'm pretty sure in 90% of the cases, the guys will be disappointed about it. So, and this is, like I said, one of my key values that I have for myself and so many other ones. Like I will go through a few ones more so that you guys can have like a bit better overview. One of my key values is clarity. Super important one when it comes to business, friendship, when it comes to relationship. Like I better hurt myself and know the truth instead of living in the, I would say, in the lie. You know what I mean? And, or I would say in the unknown. So I better push myself and jump into the water and hurt myself if it's needed to, but I have then more clarity. This is one of my key values, definitely. Then I would say calmness. So this was one of the key values that I was kind of, forgetting about in the last 12 months I would say like I always were looking for excitement for like craziness like you know what I mean like I always experience something new ex experiencing something new and forgot about how comfortable I actually feel when it's calm so another one is definitely um I would say um energy nature like I know it's like pretty random but these are things that are important for me and that makes me like one of my key values is nature i need nature around me i love nature i feel very attracted to nature etc then uh, positivity um then i would say independence i love to be independent i'm also very organized i'm very polite respectful I, um, yeah, I also have one there, and this is the last one, purpose. So I'm very purpose-driven. Like, everything that I do needs to have a purpose. And also, this one was one of the key values that I completely forget about. forgot about it. Like, I was randomly doing things. I was randomly going on dates. I was randomly working on a business, working on things. I was randomly traveling nothing of that had really like a purpose so and now everything that I do needs to have this kind of purpose like everything needs to have their, their purpose so and yeah this was like I said like all my values I hope I could give you guys like a really good overview of what I mean by that by like figuring out your values so my advice for you would be to really make yourself a list of all the values like what comes into your mind like put some music on um get yourself like a nice drink or something whatever it can also be like a tea whatever and really sit down and write them down and you will even find more values than this i even have more than that but it will take too much time to go through them right now and really listen to your heart like listen to your heart when you are with people, when you are alone, like what are your key values? What is important for you? So, and also try to explain it to yourself, what you mean by that. Like when you're talking about like 
calmness what do you mean by that what do you mean by having this key value of calmness and how do you need to change your life to be aligned with these key values what are things that are not aligned right now with this key value and i'm pretty sure you will find so many different things like i told you like i had so many things that were not aligned with my key values and i cut them off and right now to be honest like i'm not 100 there That's why I said in the beginning, I'm still on that journey, but I feel so much more comfortable every single day that I'm really living truly inside of my real values. Like I'm living really who I want to be and not who I should be or who I was, who I really, who am I right now? Like who I'm feeling right now. So, and you will feel that too. Like you will feel much, much more comfortable. And another thing is, feel free to connect with people like feel free to connect with your friends and feel free to connect with people that are maybe not the usual people that you will spend time with like try to be around people that that can give you a completely different a new perspective on things so and then trust me like by doing all these things you will be able to get yourself to get to, to get to know yourself better Oh my God, my English right now, it left the podcast episode. I'm so sorry. This is the bilingual problem when you're speaking three languages. So, and yeah, so you will be definitely able to find yourself and to live your true self. And this is everything that you need to be truly happy, to be honest. When I think about it, when I was the happiest in my life, like I was waking up in the morning and I was literally crying for gratitude it was a time in my life where i was completely living aligned with my true values and where i was grateful i was grateful for all the small things because life happens like every single time something happens in your life for what you can be sad about like every single time like i can list you right now like at least five different things that happened today where i could say oh i could be sad about it But when you really want to be happy, you need to, I don't want to say ignore these things, but you really need to focus on what you really have. Like, what are you still grateful for in this moment? Well, all this chaos is happening in your life and all these negative things. And trust me, you will find true happiness because the time where I was the happiest in my life, like I said, I was living in my true values. I was super grateful, but... I was broke as hell and I had so many different problems. Like I was going through so much, but I was still happy because I focused on these two things, living aligned with my true values and being really grateful for what I really have in life. And also what is about to come. Like look forward for your goals because you will reach them at the end of the day. If you work on them, you will finally reach them. So don't be scared about that. And this is it for this podcast episode. Let me know down below in the comments what should be the next topic I should talk about. And yeah, how did you like the podcast episode? Also feel free to leave like a follow on YouTube, a subscription, or also to give me five stars on Spotify if you really like it. So I really appreciate every single listener and see you guys in the next episode.